Today I groomed a crazy Kazond and a Yorkshire Terror. This is Teddy, the four-year-old Yorkshire Terrier, and his brother Misha, the two-year-old Kazond. We are starting with Misha. The Kazond is an extremely affectionate and loving dog. They do great with children and other animals, but apparently they don't like baths. They are a part of the Spitz family, relating closely to Pomeranians and Samoyeds, and similarly, they like to bark. Originating in Holland in the 17th and 18th century, these dogs were bred to be companion watchdogs on the boats that traveled through the canals and rivers. Today, these marvelous medium-sized balls of lint still make excellent watchdogs. Misha was convinced that I was drying him with a flamethrower, so he wasn't very compliant. I tried to prevent him from spinning by attaching him to the belly band, but it seemed we had to continue adding restraints. When that didn't work, we tried bribing him with some cookies. They say that Kazons are easygoing. Clearly whoever said that has never tried to groom them. Even brushing was a problem. Breathe. No. Good boy. No. No. I'm going to have to put you back in the belly band and attach you back to the groomer's helper because you are not being a good boy. Something tells me that Misha gives no fluffs. The nail clipping and paw pad trimming was painless, but I think he just wore himself out. And just like that, this little maniac is all finished. Now it's time to groom Teddy. When Teddy came into the shop, he tried to bite me when I bent down to pick him up. So I'm attempting to make friends first. One of my number one rules when working on a dog I've never met before is to make sure their leash and collar or harness remains on them until they are in the bathtub. It's very common for a dog to spin and bite you when picking them up off of the floor or removing them from a crate. Being able to grab onto their leash allows you more control of the animal. Always guide a dog out of a crate using a leash before attempting to touch them. Yorkshire Terriers, <clears throat> sorry, I mean Terriers, have quite the personality. Bred to be ratters in mines and mills, these feisty little bossy brats are bound to make you smile every single day with their quirky habits and unmatched bravery. I'm shaving the tips of his ears in my number 10 blade and I took his body down in my three and three quarter blade. Good boy, be nice boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Teddy. That went right in my mouth. Yorkshire Terriers are seriously one of my favorite dog breeds. Their larger than life personalities are both unique and absolutely hilarious. I have yet to have met one Yorkie I didn't like, even if they did try to shred my ankles. Their haircut, on the other hand, can be a bit difficult to do, specifically their faces. Stay. No. 
Their thin, human-like hair shows every single imperfection, so there's a whole lot of blending and a whole lot of stressing. I sprayed him down in bubblegum cologne, and this feisty little dog is finally finished. Thanks to all of you who watch my channel, I was able to provide both of these grooms today at no charge to the owner. If you'd like to support my work, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, comment down below, and hit that like button. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the menacing Misha and the terrorizing Teddy.